So when we create new variables, they have a type. So remember that uh, we have strings and integers and uh, floats are the big ones that we think about a lot. And one of the things I see a lot is we need to convert from one to the other. So if you remember, if I have a string equal, uh, I'm going to assign that the value of 100. So when I type that, I can type, I swear I can, P-Y-P-E, my string. What am I going to get? It's going to tell me it's a string, right? Okay. So the fact that this is a string might be a problem. What if I really wanted that to be a number? Well, you could argue we could just go in and change it to a number, right? But let me give you a, a, an example of when this problem happens. Uh, my user input equals enter a number and then when I come down here and I take a look I'm going to type this number that I put in right so my user input when I run this it's going to ask me for a number I'm going to enter a number 100 but when it types it it still tells us this is a string. Well, I clearly typed a number in, right? Wrong. So Python, by default, always accepts user input from the keyboard as a string. And if you think about it, that makes sense. It's coming from a keyboard, so it must be a combination of letters, numbers, uh, punctuation, special characters, right? So it automatically treats it as a string. If I want it to be a number, I have to convert it. Now, I could do this two ways. One is to convert it here. So I could say, all right, so now that my user input has a number in it, I'm just going to simply say my user input equals, I'm going to convert it to an integer, int my user input. So what am I doing? Let's read this, right? I'm setting a value, 100. So I'm assigning the value 100 to my user input. Then I'm taking my user input as a variable. I'm converting it to an integer. And then I'm writing that new integer to my user input. So when I test it now, and I put in a number. Oops, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> Let me undo that. I put in a number over here, 100. And we can see now it's an integer. So you can see I'm converting it from one thing to another. I could change it to a float and do the same thing, and it would show up as a float, even if I don't put decimal on it, right, because it assumes it's really a float. Um, now, what I could do is rather than having this long line where I take it and reassign it, I can actually embed that function. So I can go out here and say int input enter a number make sure I close my parentheses on both sides same thing still happening I'm saying enter a number right convert that number coming from the keyboard to an integer and write it to a value let me go ahead and make a note of that here too because that's good pseudocode that you might uh, almost certainly want to use right this accepts a value from the keyboard actually let's start even earlier than that it uh, displays a message. All right? Then it accepts a value from the keyboard. Then it converts that value. Then it saves the integer. Or assigns is an even better word assigns the integer to the variable my user input. And then what does this line do? This line does two things as well, right? I can see it has a variable and type. So in this case, it says it takes, it converts of the variable my user input actually it doesn't convert it just it just takes it just looks at sorry
And then it prints the type of variable. So there we go, really simple things. We're doing type conversion, just changing it from one type to another. Very, very useful, particularly when we ask for numbers from the keyboard. Um, and as you can see, now we're starting to think about all of that pseudocode um, that you're required to be able to communicate in, right? So the pseudocode is in fact what I would expect you to write along with your code in your program prior to submitting to show me that you actually understand what this line does, not just parroting what I wrote, all right? Good luck.